Alongside Carson Newman, head men's <coughs> basketball coach Chuck Benson. I'm Adam Cavalier here on the Domino's Post Game Report. Chuck, uh, turnovers and rebounding end up making the difference in this one. And you took fairly decent care of the basketball, but uh, Queens converted the first 13 turnovers you had into points. Uh, what sticks out to you about uh, what the Royals were able to do to punish when you did have a dead ball turnover? Well, they've got elite speed. They've got elite guard play. Uh, they've got very experienced guard play. And, you know, as we've expressed our team multiple times, like um, in college, when you turn the ball over, uh, unlike in high school, you turn the ball in high school, you got probably four, maybe five guys on the high school team that, that, that will never play beyond high school basketball. Uh, and uh, so they can't, they can't take a turnover in high school and go and convert in college, and especially against a team like Queens, it's elite. If you turn the ball over, you, you, you've given them points. You, you've given them points. So uh, it's been a theme this entire season. Uh, it's been a message this entire season. Um, you know, I don't know how many, how many times we have to face this kind of, this kind of situation. Um, obviously, <laughs> obviously our guys don't intentionally turn mm -hmm. the ball over. But just our, our decisions in, in, in real time um, obviously are not as, as, as clean and as um, crisp as they need to be. And so we, 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 we pay for it. Limited the Royals' efficiency. <laughs> uh, they only shoot 42% from the field for the game. However, uh, absolutely annihilated the offensive glass. 24 offensive rebounds. Uh, how much of that was a product of defending them with the zone versus – uh, them just making plays. Well, some of it's the zone, obviously. It is, and I, and I understand that. <clears throat> but but there were also situations where, again, um, guys are, 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 are instructed and and um, given the, the, the right directives on, on how, how to function um, in this, uh, in this defensive scheme. And, you know, if there's a lack of follow-through with that, then, you know, you, you get exposed. And we have some guys that are, are big, athletic, and a lot of times big, athletic guys tend to, uh, until they're exposed, tend to rely upon their size and their athleticism to get a job done rather than combining with that size and athleticism uh, a, a know-how and a, and a, te a technical know-how on how to actually maximize their size and athleticism. <laughs> and as you saw, there were times when, when you know, uh, our guys would be stagnant. They would not leave their area to go find a body to, 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 to negate an offensive rebounder. And, and those, those, those times when we did that, we, we got exposed. You needed, <coughs> uh, if you lost, you needed a result to go your way. It needed Lenore Ryan to beat Newberry on the road. The Wolves hang on, and that eliminates you from contention. Mm -hmm. for the South Atlantic Conference Tournament. How do you approach the final points of the season with two games left, knowing that there's no postseason play on the horizon? Well, I mean, you know, uh, what, what you do have for people that are truly competitive are, 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 a chan are chances to, to win or lose. You have chances to demonstrate and, and, and improve. Um, so, you know, for the first time in, in my career, uh, we will not be participating in the uh, p in the postseason tournament, um, and I'll I'll you know uh, that's 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 an experience that 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 that, um, that I will I will promise you will make me better about what I do, um, but for our players and for our staff, uh, I I will I will be frankly I'll be shocked if if we don't do anything but but attempt to win out. <laughs> you know, I'll, yeah. I'll be anything but shocked. Uh, so, um, you know, we're, we're, I, I, I'm excited to, to get back home, start focusing on UVA Wise, to make the trip up to uh, uh, Bobby Tuck country <laughs> and to uh, Stephen Cabin in the midst of complete and sh sheer pain. I've still got some, some comedic juice left. <laughs> uh, we'll go to Bobby Tuck country and, and try to, to, to give ourselves a chance to win. Uh, Zaylen Peeler, really nice day today in his hometown uh, with a, a new high, at least in a Carson Newman jersey with 15 points. What did you see out of him uh, playing in front of the home fans? Well, I thought he played, I thought he played with poise today. Um, I thought he played with um, uh, determination. Uh, I, I'm really happy for him. 
this is a situation where you, you do you come to your hometown and you really – I would never say this to our guys, but I mean, whenever we're uh, near their homes or their families, I'm I'm hoping for them that they perform well, and when they do, like Zaylin did today, you're very very happy for them. Um, <clears throat> obviously, uh, it's still short of a win, but Zaylin's a sophomore. Uh, he's had you know, um, he's had some some adversity this year uh, that he's trying that he's worked that he's worked through, and was able to come out here and and, and perform. Uh, so we're happy for him, and uh, we'll we'll just hopefully he can build on it in the remaining part of the season we have left. Chuck, pleasure as always. We'll talk to you Wednesday uh, when the Eagles head up to the prior convocation center. Great. Thanks, Captain.